Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing USCIS case processing. Unfortunately, with the advent of the internet, it's easier to check. Well, I shouldn't say unfortunately, but in this circumstance, for purposes of this video, it's kind of unfortunate because we get a lot of inquiries from clients who say, I saw something online, I checked my case status, and my case has been transferred from one USCIS office to another. And my response is, okay, um, I'm not trying to be difficult or, or, you know, sort of curt with clients or anything, but the long and the short of it is, it doesn't really mean much from our standpoint. Now, and frankly, different offices, there could be a myriad, there could be myriad reasons why cases get moved around within the USCIS structure. It's difficult to say exactly why that would happen. Now, some view this as greatly, like it's almost a superstitious thing. Oh, I went to this office and it, that, that means it's a bad thing. Again, it's circumstantially dependent. It's factually dependent. I've seen different offices process cases out in wildly different time frames. At, at roughly the same time. You know, I've seen cases that have been sitting there for a long time processed out with cases that have been sitting there for a relatively short period of time. So again, transfer from one USCIS office to another doesn't really necessarily mean anything. Do not let it upset you. If you really are upset about it, if you're one of my clients, please feel free to contact me. If you are not one of our clients and you feel the need to get some questions answered, please feel free to contact us. But that stated, the general rule is, unless USCIS, via something like a, a request for evidence or a notice of intention to deny, has taken specific action and requested action from you, if they haven't done that, then uh, you know an announcement like a case transfer is largely just something that is an announcement of something they're doing internally that doesn't even, in a sense, really pertain to you, or at least it doesn't directly pertain to you. It's just basically resource reallocation within their operation.